Land Rover First 15 College Rugby is proudly brought to you by Land Rover. Very good afternoon. Welcome to South Auckland. It is the Auckland 1A competition. It is King's College against Kelston Boys High School. Of course, Kelston Boys High School are the defending champions of the 1A, but Kings have a proud record in this competition and they're looking forward to it. Tom Bartlett in commentary alongside James Parsons. Good afternoon, Jim. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, absolutely. Kelston probably coming in as red hot favourites. They know how to score points, but the best thing about them, they know how to stop them holding three teams to zero, while Kings, they're great on attack, but they'll need to shore up their defence here today. Well, the 1A competition, well, it's a, it's a brutal competition, and you need good weather to play running rugby, and today we've got some good weather. It's a blue sky, there's a pretty good temperature, there's a little bit of breeze, a little bit of overcast, but pretty good, James, in terms of running rugby this afternoon. Yeah, certainly is. A couple of wet games last few weeks for Kings, and they'll be looking to shore things up. Uh, with ball in hand and they've, they've adjusted their attack a little bit and they'll need to coming off the back of a loss last time these two teams played. Yeah, 22-17, that last fixture between the two a year ago. Of course, a couple of years ago we didn't have any fixtures and then it was Kings who owned the 2019-2018. But in terms of a rivalry, this is a pretty good one. Absolutely. Two top sides um, in Auckland and uh, they certainly will be looking to take it direct early. But you've, you've mentioned the weather and I think they'll look, both sides will look to attack. Well, let's have a look at the Kelston Boys High School first 15 team for this afternoon's game. They're a big mobile pap. Leota, Cassidy, Natano and Lovale are up front. Sam Tuitupo and Josh Pasim is the second row. Brown, Lua Falialo and Tuai Malo Vainga, the A number eight. 19 combination of Benson and Brown. Big midfield. Faonga and Isal speed out wide though too. Keep an eye on number 11 star Sami. The reserves, well, the coach will be looking for some impact. Pongi and Luau in particular, they're big, they're strong, they're fast. Their coach, Matt Howling there. Co-captain of the Kelston Boys High School is Joel Lovali, and he had a chance to chat to James just a little bit earlier. Well, Joel, a huge win against Liston uh, last week. What have been the key focus here is building into this one? I think it's um, just getting the little things right and uh, executing. Sweet days. Have you identified any key players as, as threats for Kings? Their full pack's quite dominant with the teams they've been playing against and their backline's got a pretty good midfield, so just executing and doing the little things right will help us a lot. Who can we look out for from your team? Probably our, our whole team, really, because <laughs> everyone's really keen for this week. Be mean build-up, um, prep's been good. I've noticed that you've kept a few teams to zero. Your defence wins championships, they say. Uh, has that been a big work on for you this year? Yeah, our coaches have drilled us on that throughout the preseason and that. So just being able to come off the line, put on a good hit, it's what we, Kelston's about. Awesome, mate. Well, all the best. Uh, Joe Lavalo there, the Kelston. And here are their opponents. Tofa, Salvaka and Apu, the front row. Oliver and Pearson. We saw them a couple of weeks ago on Land Rover First 15 Rugby. A mobile second row as well. Palmer, Gwyn Tuatahi is a good ball-carrying number eight. And Sheffield Gray does hard work from the blindside flank. The back line, Murray Kavuredi, the captain, the impressive Manu Lele Ua. Vionga is joining him in the midfield this afternoon. Willis Warren and Fuller. Luca Fuller is the fullback for Kings. The reserve bench, same situation here for their coach, looking for impact. Keep an eye on number 20, Jack Elliott. Good replacement halfback, looking for, to make some impact, as well as those other players in those seven reserves. Their uh, co-captain is Francis Manu Leleua, and he spoke with James a little earlier. Well, Francis, two big performances back-to-back, -back, got those Ws. What's the focus here today? I uh, just focus on Kelston there, um, with their um, physical and um, their Mongol mindset. Uh, my defense is going to be pretty key this week. How critical is this game? Speaking to your coaches, you've got a quarter-final mindset going into this one? Yeah, right now um, I think we're sixth on the leaderboard, so um, we're one, one win away from our semi, one win from our making semi, so this is a pretty um, vital game for us. Have you identified any key threats that Kelston may pose? Um, just their ball running, their physicality, um, uh, the boys just have to step up and just bring up that line speed. All right, well, all the best today. See, thank you. Definitely a player to look out for. Francis Manu Lele Ua, the captain and midfielder for Kings. There are the coaching staff, all important, of course. They've put a good group together again, have Kings. Of course, James Parsons, your old stomping ground. You'll know what's going through the minds of the players. They get ready for a, an important game in the context of the season. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, you always come off a grammar. It's a big hype game, but keeping that consistent, so a great result against Mags, and they'll be looking to do the same here against Calston. Well, Kelston's sitting third in the 1A competition. They played 6-1-5, just the one loss uh, to St. Peter's, of course, who are at the top of the 1A competition. So Kelston looking pretty good at the moment as they look to go back-to-back -back after winning the 1A title 
in 2021. It's their first title in, in a while, and they did it well, and they've got a good group. I'm told that 22 of their squad are year 12 or younger, so we're going to see a lot of these guys over the rest of this season, of course, and into next year as well. So Kelson, they are building a good little foundation for a good couple of years in the 1A competition. As I say, such a rich history of success. They've brought some wonderful players into the New Zealand rugby system. And here they are sitting, as I say, third. And here's some of their recent results, uh, Jiffa, but keeping an eye on the two uh, donuts that listed in Tangaroa. And look at the points they've scored. Yeah, absolutely. They know how to do it both sides of the ball. But the most impressive thing is their defence turning into attack. So look for them to go from distance. Uh, they've scored a few from 80 or 85. Splendid in their red strip. Kelston Boys High School. Joel Lolovale is the prop. He wears jersey number three. We heard from earlier. And he shares the captaincy duties with jersey 15. Xavier Tito Harris, the fullback for Kelston Boys High School. So a couple of leaders. And here are their opponents. The home team. We saw them on, as I say, on Sky Sport a couple of weeks ago when they played in that traditional against Grammar. Really had to grind that one out, James. Yeah, they did. They came to life towards the end of the game. But a slow start to the season for Kings, and it's no different for them here today. A lot of uh, members are out sick, so they've made a lot of changes. But hopefully that freshness brings a bit of an edge for them. And there's a decent crowd, decent uh, amount of students here to cheer them on. They sit sixth to Kings in the 1A. They've only lost the one game, but they've been held to draws in two of those games. So the three wins, the two draws, and the one loss. And it's just left them, as you say, just outside the, the top four. But a win here will lift them or catapult them straight back into that top four. Yeah, absolutely. Crucial for them today. As I said, their coaches have got a quarterfinal mindset because they know that they put their destiny in their own hands. If they can win here today, got a softer run into those semis. So a home semi is their focus. And we talked about the fact that Kelston had scored a lot of points in their uh, in recent games. Well, 76 nil. Kings over Liston uh, certainly piled on the points. And there is a, a young man to look out for. We've seen him on Sky on Land Rover First 15 Rugby uh, before. Francis Manu Leleua. He's the co-captain. Uh, he's a big ball carrier. He's a leader. He kicks goals. We saw him in the warm-up, kicking them from everywhere, James. He's certainly a player to watch out for. Yeah, he is. And there's a lot of interest in him for his uh, life after school. So uh, a big performance here. Probably brings a few more uh, fishing rods to the pond. And there are those results. Talk about the win at Mount Albert last weekend. The grammar game midweek, 15-3. The draw at St. Kent's and then the loss to uh, St. Peter's, who, of course, sit on top of the 1-8. Uh, no embarrassment in that. St. Peter's have been pretty impressive, six from six. But today it is Kings and their opponent, Kelston Boys High School, the defending champions in the 1-8. Lovely conditions here at Kings. Sunny day, very little breeze, a little cool when you when that sun disappears. But overall, terrific conditions. The referee, Sam Adam, in charge. Have some assistance there, Oliver Hatfield, Paul Devane. And we are set to go in this 1A competition game. King's College hosting Kelston Boys High School in this round seven game at a crucial junction in the season. Kelson sitting third, Kings sitting sixth, but not a lot between them. Captain. Uh, highly competitive 1A competition as we've become used Captain. to. Ready? And it will be Francis Manu Lelelua to get us underway. Referee blows time on, and it is the captain who hangs one up, and it's a bit of a juggle. Very close to the touchline, but Kelson have done a good job of position back again, and they go to their forwards through Josh Pasina. Paul Benson is the halfback for Kelston. He will send it up over halfway. Just hanging there for Luca Fuller. Comes midfield to his captain. Manu Leleua. Straight though down to the fullback for Kelson. That's Xavier Tito Harris with the kick downfield. Turning is fuller, looks for his winger. This is Warren and he kicks over the top. Coming across though is Benson. Does well to bring the ball back in field. Little step there from Tito Harris. Gets rid of one and then runs into the 
imposing figure of Tofa. Prop four Kings. Outright they go. Strong carry from Lovale. It's a good start from Kelston. Up towards halfway, another couple of metres. Messina carrying it forward in jersey four for Kelston. Ball spits out the side and illegally, so we have our first penalty of the game, a chance for Kelston to go inside King's territory. Yeah, well, Kelston are here to play, aren't they? They're playing from depth. A uh, couple of kicking battles there, um, but Kings have got that backfield well covered. I wouldn't mind seeing Kings chance their arm. Kelston are keeping, you know, three or four players back in that backfield, so there is space on the edge. But Benson doesn't find touch, and it comes back to Manu Leleua, and he it's ripped with a right-footed kick and takes play just over halfway, or up to halfway. Kelston just trying okay. to peel off a little bit too much on that penalty, so they're back where they started. Kings forward pack are really coming into their own last few weeks, so this is a big challenge against this Kelston pack. Xavier Liotta finds his jumper, and Benson lets it rip into midfield. Comes to the left again. Lovely hands. Here's Tito Harris. Spots a little bit of space as the fullback. He's got support on the outside. Draw and pass. And away goes Nathan Alisi. And they're going to score Kelston. Terrific opportune play. Tito Harris found the gap. And Ratu Navarisi scores the try. What a start for Kelston Boys High School. Oh, from deep. Don't look back. That young man, a bright future, beckons. How good was that from Tito Harris, first and foremost? You'll watch him here, a little double skip. Little goose step gets on the outside, then the selfless draw and pass, right down, and then all too easy for a man of that pace. Number 14, Naborisi, and he takes it round to make sure it's seven. We saw the prowess he's got with the boot, Tito Harris, in the first couple of minutes, but then he runs and he runs. He just sliced that King's backline in half, and once. Nabarisi was away, there was no snow stopping him. It's just the stutter step. Great cutout ball there, but there he just holds up that defence and that's raw speed. That is out and out pace. Tito Harris, no wonder he's got the C next to his name. That is quality stuff. Uh, a dream start for Kelston boys. Try scorer Ratu Nabarisi and Benson from a very handy distance converts the opening try and it is Kelston with that early advantage. Nine, Try set four. up by Xavier Tito Harris, scored by Ratu Naborisi, and then the conversion from Benson, and those fans there, the Kelston fans who have made the trip across Auckland, delighted with their start their team has made. Manu Lele Lua hangs another one up. This one is taken well. Good response from Kings. They lifted him up, and the referee says more, so they're going to have to get him to ground. I think they're going to be able to do that. And in the end, it's a turnover. Well, he did a great job to get up there and win the ball. But unfortunately, I think he misread the situation and held himself up. He almost lifted his legs up, stayed high, and then the Kelston forward tack. Did the rest. But the height that Manu Lelelua is getting on those kickoffs, yeah, yeah. it's definitely an area Thanks, that they you can look to get benefit from later Remember in this match. We talked about stability and balance, yeah? You guys own it we now. talked about the conditions. Terrific overhead. There is just a slight breeze coming across the ground, which probably favouring Kelston in this first half. And you could just see there with that restart from Manu Lelelua when he hung it up and it just held a little bit. Made it a little difficult for the Kelston Five. forwards to organise themselves. But they have the scrum just outside their own 22. Front rows go down, but ball is clear. Left winger no, is Sami, and he just loses his footing. Comes out again to this left-hand side. Here's Harris. I don't want to give him any space. Neither do they want to give Nabarisi any space. Comes in field again through Brown, the first five who shovels it along. Now you're on the Players you're on the over the ball, but referee says play on as Brown gets a little bit tangled. 
as he tried to offload it there. And that'll be a turnover. So good field position here for Kings. It certainly is, but Kalston have come to play, haven't they? They've no, got no, no. the breeze behind them. Um, There's two sort of fullback operation that I Kings are running. But there is kick space, it. but they're not wanting to take it. Tito Harris, he is great at reading body language to whether to run or pass. He is certainly one to watch. Looks to have a terrific understanding with Tito Harris and Novorisi. Those two, 15 and 14, just had a little indication already with that try, but they just seem to be very much in sync. So good opportunity here for Kings. Centre field, that's the 10 metre line that you can see just to the left of shot. Kings Ford pack had a huge amount of dominance Lads, against Auckland Grammar listen. when they're last at home. First scrum, you guys have overbalanced. You see there, yeah? this scrum you have. It's yeah? a stacked Let's blind side. Okay. You'd have to almost Let's move over here. Let's move over the here. skipper will be charging this one up down the left side. The Kings number eight is Levi Gwyn Tuatahi. There he is there. Coach! Heavily strapped left arm. Fine. Got his captain just to the left of him, Francis Manulele Ua. What direction do they go? The right hand side is Bonga. And referee says go on. So off goes Murray. Brings in right winger Willis. This is John T. Willis into the contact. He goes. He gets pushed back. And then the Kelston player is over the ball, but told to let it go. Murray comes back to first five. Kapuridi. Afu, Sam Afu wearing jersey three for Kings today. Murray wants to come back to the shorter side. That one is touch forward and then sits up for Willis. And he almost thinks about an outside run. Decides to take the tackle. Ball spills back again to Kavaridi. Here is Manu Leleua. Ball back, a little floating pass. Out wide there, ranging some of the loose forwards. Murray comes back again to his captain. Shovels it on to Sam Afu. Up to the 10 metre line. Kelson's defence, though, has been a bit of a feature of their season so far. But here is the number eight. Drops his head this time as Gwyn to a tahi, and the advantage is being played for Kings for the high tackle as Murray comes back to Gavuridi. Good contact there as Pearson throws himself at the defensive line. The defence was good, but there was no advantage, so we'll go back for the penalty for the high shot. Yeah, just slipping up, but you can see the Kings forward pack have split into a two on the edge, four in the middle, and speaking to their coach previously, they lost 16 breakdowns against Mount Albert Grammar last week. So they're really looking to shore up that breakdown and they're doing a good job thus far. But on that occasion, Pearson chose the wrong channel to run down. Gets on the outside. He puts his hands up straight away. Busy sell. Pearson wins the line out for Kings. Afu again gets her out of the one tackle and then charges up. Tackler doesn't roll away, so there's another advantage being played. Here is Gwyn Tuatahi. Murray back again. Gaburidi. Manu Leleua. Almost gets through, almost frees his arms. Well taken in the end there by Fuller. Murray comes back open again. Another carry from Sam Afu, the prop forward for Kings. Flat pass, intercepts is attempted. We're going back for the penalty. Yeah, just not rolling away. He got caught. Another great carry Number from seven. Afu, as we'll see here. Oh, and, oh no, this is just the knock on. Intercept Shuffle. attempt. Wouldn't mind seeing Manu Lelua take the line on a little bit. Oh. He's distributed all seven. day today, but big body. And they're holding off him a little bit because they know he's such a threat. He's got great feet and he has that ability to win collisions and get that offload going. We've seen how physical he can be in previous games. So far, hasn't chosen that option. And also because of that, the Kelston players are a little bit, they're giving him a bit more time to, to, to you know, to make his decision about what he wants to do. Saw him lining them up in the warm-up. I don't want to jinx him, but he didn't miss many. Chance for Kings to get themselves on the scoreboard. Try and respond to that early try scored by Kelston. Up to Avorisi, right winger. This one, about 30 metres. 
just to the right of that right hand upright. Good strike from Manu Lilu. And up go the flags. And so a successful penalty goal for King's Scholars. They're on the board. And the gap is four points. Now it's King's responsibility yep. to get out of their half. Just need to play a secure. Yeah. But you've Kick made a plan here. When you're falling on the wrong side, so you have to get clear. Because they know Kelsen yeah. are going to chance their arm from deep. So that territory will be crucial. <laughs> the restart there from Benson. Inside. Taken there by Willis. It's across to Vonga. And Fuller looking to use the width of the field. Uh, Kings, that's outside the 22. Brody Warren in jersey 11. Sam Afu. Year 12 at the college. The prop forward for Kings. Left hand side again through Fuller. Nice hands here. Just trying to draw a pass. Running out of space though. And into touch. The idea was good, but Ashton Palmer just ran out of real estate. So it's advantage Kelson on that occasion. Yeah, I feel like they played in Kelston's hands there, though. Again, three people in the backfield. How many so fellas? they can have one strike. They brought them up, so there was only two there. Up. That's the time to kick. The space is there. Yeah, push on the anyway, AR, please. Prime opportunity for Kelston to on strike back after the three points. Ten. Lads, 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 lads. Davia Lielta, the hooker for you Kelston. Right now, now you've only got six so, up. Yeah? A couple of tall so targets and... Sam Tuitupo and Josh Tassina. Locks for Kelsen, but we've seen the likes of Nate Brown and Seven. And a lot of the work in the line out too. This one goes to the front. It's taken by Tuitupo. Oh, well, maybe a little bit too tricky early. Straight Normally to your like man. to bring those sort of special moves around the front yeah. when there's a little bit more Captain, do gas out of the tank. Scrum call. Chosen the scrum. It's a big strength of Kings. You can just see the slip out there. And Pasina just stepping in. Not legally so. It's a turnover. Manu Lua is promoted here. Great support for both teams. Helston bought their army of supporters as well. Kings always well supported, particularly at home. Callum Murray just holding up, that fellas. ball back. No, 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 no. My turn to talk. Yeah, fellas, both of us are unstable. Okay, we need both of you to be stable before the ball goes in. Yeah, let's go. Scrums have been a little bit messy, and I think he just needs to take control of the referee and maybe stamp his mark and penalise either side. So there's some behaviour change. Coach. Cassidy, Natano, Liotta, and Lovale for Kelston in that front row. Sefa, Savaka, and Afu. One, two, three for Kings. Solid enough. Cleared it's by Murray, back. and it is Manu Lele Ua who carries this time into the contact, driven in the tackle by Regan Brown. The first five for Kelston. They spin wide, trying to hold and create some space as Luca Fuller, 15 for Kings. Nelson player over the ball, but is told to let it go, did it, and it's penalised. Well, they've certainly sent numbers Tackler to that breakdown, have Kings, and it's paying dividends at the moment, now securing that ball. And the try scorer, Maburisi, falling on the wrong side. Tough angle there, so he couldn't get too much purchase. But another prime attacking opportunity, as we just see here. Just gets on the outside, ball in two hands. Line out one against the throw. Good work from the Kelston lock. I think it was Pasina who got up there. Spoilt that Kings line out. Benson doesn't kick this time, comes back to fullback Xavier Tito Harris. He just finds Warren. Fuller and Willis who have had plenty of touches in this first half and that one is going to be too big. <laughs> Trying to find some open space to Jonty Willis but out on the fall. Well you mentioned that man Pacina getting up and getting that steal and now he's piggybacked his team up the field. 
through a kick out on the full. How many Sam fellas? Just trying five to work two. out the numbers. Going for a five man. Two big Lucy's in the midfield, so look for them to crash it up. Yeah, so the two locks, Sam Tui Tupo in five. He's wearing the whitish headgear, and then Josh pacina has got the darkish blue. They have been into everything, those two, and in the end, it's going to be Tui Tupo who takes it. Benson into midfield and crashing it, coming from way back was Louis Fatuolo, blindside flanker. Benson. Comes again to his first five. Brown, a little bit of space here for Kelston. Draw and pass. The pass was intercepted by Fuller. Terrific work by Luca Fuller. Now there's a chance for Kings. Plenty of Kelston players going back. Are there too many in there? And it's been brilliantly done. Collected, I think that might be Lua Falaolo, who's got all the way back. The blindside flanker who created that little space on the outside. Territory gained big time for Kings. This is the 22 metre line that Kelson have got to work from. Right hand side to Joel Lovale. Benson back inside the 22 to Regan Brown. This one though, hanging up in the breeze, taken by Fuller. He's got Harry Cavuretti. And here is Warren. Warren spots a little bit of space. Good carry from Warren. Then a nice offload to his halfback, Callum Murray. Almost got freed at Murray. Distance here is Sam Afu. Crashed into the referee who was about to blow us and have a scrum. But he said, no, no, let's play on. Comes back to Cavaretti. Here is Manu Leleu. A lovely little chip. Finds his man on that far side. And they're in touch. The idea was right. Wasn't a lot of space. It's a nice Willis. little touch. Probably just wanted to go a little bit further. I think, as you see here, the line break couple of times this midfield defense has been done on this occasion the outsides rushing up creating that separation and leaving all too much work for the midfield to do but fuller up to the task with the intercept very very classy well it was one of those ones it was it was all or nothing for him if he didn't get it they were in big trouble kings and here they are with the ball in hand number eight levi gwyn tui tahi that's the 22. Murray to the right hand side to Bonga. Short ball. That's Fuller again trying to crash his way through the defensive line. Trying now trying to get to the, to the ground. Call from the referee. You heard it just when the ball was struck tackle. It's a little bit unlucky for Kelson. Yeah, very unlucky. He was on that ball and it was just almost his knee and the strip happened at the same time. Looks like they'll go to the corner. Tackler release. So an opportunity for the pack to set the mark up front, keep things simple, keep it under the chest and look to march us over the line. Let's see the strip here. Barisi's on the ball as he's falling. Savaka finds his jumper. Then it's dragged through, and they charge through to Kings. They're over the line, trying to get the ball down to Sheffield Gray. And a true been scored. Oh, terrific work. Seemingly a little bit out of nothing. It looked like it had broken down at the mall, but they fought their way back, and that's terrific stuff from Kings, and they are in front. Fantastic heads up play. You're right, plan A didn't work, but plan B certainly came off. Looked to do a little shift drive, and he realised there's no weight behind him. He went himself. Sheffield great. Over for a five-pointer. All too easy. You can see here, I think that's Pearson who gets yanked out of the back of that as he comes down from the line out, but he'd already shifted it back, so just create a little bit of space. And Scott Sheffield Gray, I've got to say, great strength too, James, because he was over the line. There were plenty of red bodies. 100%, but I think they've done their homework. They must have known that Kelston really commit to that initial target of the drive, so the little shift was crucial, and there was no one left there, and he was smart enough not to just transfer it back by habit. He felt free, turned, and a fantastic five-pointer putting Kings ahead. They enjoyed a pretty good period of possession, the Kings, and the moments leading up to that try. Now a chance to extend that advantage. Currently sits at one. Francis Manu Leleua, one from one.
Sun shining at King's College. And so far, shining on the home team. One try apiece. And really, Kings have built some good phase play after conceding that early try. Set back by Ratu Naborisi. Here is Vanu Leleua. Starts it to the right. And it doesn't come back in time. So the conversion is unsuccessful. But they're a happy group of fans. Kings College, the home team, leading by one. And we are midway through the first half. Just see the transfer again. And he just almost rips it off. Palmer, as he felt that weight come off. Fantastic result. Yeah, Try scorer collects the ball from the restart. Scott Sheffield Gray charges it up. Finally gets the ground. And as Arpak Murray will clear it. Pulls for a crash. Gets one from hooker Zyron Savaka and then a penalty. Yeah, the straight from the side. side. Pearson cleaning out. The skipper, La Valle, was over the ball beautifully. Well positioned, wide bar base. Captain. Just see here. Shockle. Look at number five, straight from the side to clean him out. Easy call for the referee. Certainly not the way Kings would have no wanted water. to exit their half after scoring no such water. a great Can try. Yeah, you talked about it, James, not long ago, how important it, when you get points to do a decent job or a clean job on your exit. And that'll be a frustration for Kings because they had got themselves to hit on the scoreboard and had been building some, some nice phase play. Absolutely. And the key to the success so far is they've got 70% territory, so they're playing at the right end of the field. And Kelsen are also chancing their arm a little bit from deep. So if they can sneak ahead, they'll be really happy because statistically they've been under the pump a little bit. Well, the early try, Ratu Naborisi, right winger for Kelston boys. And a try just a few moments ago, Scott Sheffield Gray for Kings. Chance here, Cole Benson, the second penalty attempt of the afternoon. It's a lovely strike and straight over the black dot it goes. So Kelston back in front here at Kings, 10 points to eight. Yeah, and they'll be happy with it. I mentioned that statistically everything's against them, but they've made every opportunity that Kings have given them a winner. So they just need to keep plugging away, sticking to the game plan they've come in here with. Kings may just want to make a few shifts defensively, making sure that they're connected with each other. So There's been a few chinks in their armour. Terrific conditions, and so far, Good game to match as well. Auckland, 1A competition, round seven. Bit of a messy restart. Ball has been lost forward by Kelston. Murray tries to catch. Not, not sure that was the right option. Yeah, Fortunately, the they had the advantage, so Kings will get to go again. So I would have loved to have seen that go replay. left Excellent through the side. hands rather than the box kick. Yeah. But see that edge. Look at the edge. Kings players busting onto it. Certainly on. Well, that's stable, eh? Stable. Great opportunity there, scrum. A little bit inconsistent today, to be fair, for Kings' the standards, but they will want to lay a platform. Just hold our balance here. Yeah? Look for a lot of defensive attention on the skipper, Manu Lelua, which may create an opportunity for someone out the back. Sit. Well, Harry Kavuridi, who wears jersey 10, is just hovering behind Manu. The lure, and then in the end, they do. The second man play comes around Fuller, looking to draw some space here for John D. Willis. He's inside the 22 of Kelson. Murray comes back. That's Dylan Volga, 13, and then Sam Afu spinning. Good strength from Afu. Helen Murray digs in, comes out to the right again with Fuller. And it's a ball, ball, and all tackle that one. Front on, good hit from Kelson, defensive line as it came up flat. Here's Pearson, driven back in the tackle. Well, this is good defence from Kelston Boys High School. They have pushed Kings back 20 metres. Manu Leleua, this one sits up. In fact, it doesn't sit up. It's not taken cleanly. And lost forward there by Star Sami. Murray, at short side again. This is Warren. The near Kelston players on the ball. Sure if the referee's still playing advantage, but Murray's tried to clear it. And the ball's now being 
Oh, 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 oh. So in fact, they are going to go back to the original knock-on. Nice. Kings will have the scrap. Knock-on there, first knock-on. Well, by we've spoken about the defence and keeping previous teams to zero. That was impressive. Their skipper said the Kelston way is big hits. Well, there were back-to-back -back big hits. One in particular in this cell, the 13 of Kelston. He certainly did not miss down the right flank. Here's our mark, fellas. The Kings started probably 10 metres ahead. So that shows how far they've been pushed back. Kelston Boys High School had a couple of big wins in the last couple of rounds and they haven't conceded any points and you get a bit of a sense of why that might be the case with some of the defence we just saw in the last few minutes. Callum Murray will feed the scrum and the referees decided that little inconsistency that they were having around the scrum just not clean enough and someone's been tanged. Free kick to Kelston. Scrum call. Yeah, fair call. They won the hit but they chased it. Obviously. That's why we moved to here. At this level, that's not on unless the halfback's ready to get that ball in and out, and he wasn't. Probably an area Murray might want to look at is just getting the ball in rather than holding it up there hold like that. Fellas. Anyway, they're on defence now. Don't forget next weekend, Sacred Heart College against Come. Mount Albert Grammar. That one from 2.30. Glenn Dow in Auckland, live on Sky Sport 3 as the Auckland 1A competition continues. And then on the August the 13th, Another Kings game, Rest Sacred Heart. They're off Head to shoulders. play them. And that one's at 2.30 live on Sky Sport. And don't forget tonight, strap yourselves in for this. The first of three, it's the All Blacks in Ireland from 6.30. Cannot wait to see how that goes. Oh, it's absolutely outstanding to have the Irish here. And I'm certainly salivating for that fixture. But we've got a good one on our hands here. Scrum again, a little bit inconsistent from Kings. Just going in and down. It's the loose head, Alpha. This is an injury. Just a little break and play here as the, the management of the Kings team just come out to check this player. Pretty physical game so far 27 minutes gone james it has flowing by there have been there has been some contact in this one. Oh, there has and both sides of the ball teams are running direct and straight and defensively they're up for it as well both sides Sub. giving it all to their teams lots of Lots of physicality in this one. Sam Afu must have carried the ball off, nine, get ten get times at least. And Joel Lavale is opposite for Gelston in the front rows. Also, not just doing terrific work up front, but defensively right still not in on the yet. mix. It looks like Oliver Hatch is coming on at hooker. So that sub's been made. Savaka's shoulder Lance, is not going to see out the day. Time's still not on. Just chill. Time back on. There is the Vaka. He's hitting. Grab a jacket. Murray's done well. He's trying to give his team as long as possible. Gotta let that ball go. Crafty halfback, like all good halfbacks, but just didn't know the rule. Great dominance, though, for the counter ruck. A little bit sloppy at line out time, but they went to work and they kept their bodies up. So, well deserved penalty. Can we, can we just open up a wee bit at the front, please? It's a crucial time for Kings just to get their defence right. They've been broken a couple of times through the midfield, just on the edge. Really key, they stay connected here. There's a massive gathering of players in the midfield for Calston. You can see Oonga there in 12. The loose forwards as well. Any number of them could get in the way, but they're not going to do it with the ball. This one's come back and carrying this one forward is Levi Gwyn Tuitahi, number eight for Kings. Outside the 22, Murray back to his back first five. And Manu Leleua 
can't kick it out, so he's just banged it downfield. Xavier Tito Harris, who's got a great kick on him, is running this time. Gets it rid of it. That's Sami. Didn't get rid of him on the first attempt. Good carry there from the winger for Kelston. They're up over Kings halfway. Herring for this one. Lua Faleolo. Presents for Benson. This is for Oma. Right at 13. Wrap around. Out of some space. Doesn't throw it initially. Drifts through the hands of the blindside flanker, but we're going back for a penalty. Just a little bit of space granted on this left hand side by Kelston. Good yeah, it certainly was. Uh, Dylan Vonga there has been called, but there could have been a number of players called. They were miles offside. That's the beauty when your forward pack gets you across the advantage line. Means the defence has to make a number of extra steps. Scrum they court. didn't on this occasion. So they're obviously struggling at line-out time not to go to the corner. They're feeling that confidence up front. So a midfield scrum. Huge blind. We've already seen the man in 14. Aborisi, who is on the left wing at the moment. Yeah, just to be, just to keep the Kings defensive line guessing, they are swapping. I noticed that uh, Navarisi and Sami are, <laughs> they seem to be uh, swapping Five. and popping up in different places. Great field position, this. As we're pre engaged there, we need to have a gap. Yeah, that's a good shot there. That man on screen, they'll be looking to get to it. There's a massive wide open side and as I said the connection of the Kings defense hasn't been all that great so that width may be something Kelston can look to expose and really Good. challenge that edge defense Five. of Willis and Manuel Lua. that's how they scored their first try Xavier Tito Harris cut them in half here is the man who sparked that opening try trying to go around his opposite takes it into the contact Manages to get rid of the ball to Sami. He's really battling to stay in field, and then he does. Carry forward here. This is Isel. 13 for Kelston. Through the hands of Pasina. Now there's Jarrell Luafaleolo. He's running, and he's running well to the blind side flanker. Taken down in a good tackle by Vaulma. The midfielder for Kings. From distance comes Xavier Liotta. Seven metres from the line. Kelston looking for another score just before half time. Comes back to Brown. Tito Harris floats the wide one. This is Sami. Who almost gets rid of one. Gets the offload though. They'll retain possession. Will Kelston. Big defensive effort here acquired by Kings. Here's Tutupo. Ten metres from the line. Benson goes back to the right hand side. Xavier Tito Harris. Over the ball, and we're going back for a penalty for Kelston. Number four. Massive alarm Outside. bells going Outside. off for the Kings defensive line. And they're holding strong at the moment, but they are infringing. And they're very, very tight in and around that ruck, so there is plenty of space on the edge. Yeah, you can but see no here, a little bit clunky, but they get it to the width, and then the blindside flanker. Lua Falealo just pinned his ears back, and that's a fantastic tackle around the legs, though. Just see here, that's great ball in behind the D line, which means they haven't made enough steps and just caught offside. Forwards really laying the platform for Kelston at the moment. Working hard and asking their opposites to work even harder. So there's a blind side here. Eight is Jamal Tuiomalo Vainga, and he leaves it for his halfback. Black pass from Brown. This is Fa'aonga. Fa'aonga still going. Five metres from the goal line. Two and a half minutes to half time. Big moment in the game potentially here as Xavier Liotta presents again. Back for Joel Lovale. Four metres from the line, Kelston Boys High School. Benson again. Cassidy Natano. Half a metre shy. Benson clears again. Numbers with Fa'aonga. Tito Harris floats the pass over the top and star Sami scores. Talk about busting it up, up front, and then the backs get the job done. It's 15 to 8 to Kelton. It's an absolute rugby clinic. It's a simple game when you do it that well. Set the platform up front and then give it to your superstars out wide. First one 
to Naborosi and this one to Star Sammy on the opposite wing and it's all too easy here for Calston. They just ground away up front. We saw Lalvale, we saw Tuitupo, we saw Liolta. It was all the ones with the small numbers on their back. And then the space was created and Star Sami should have run straight to his forwards if he didn't. And thank them because they just laid that one on a platter for him. They certainly did. And they'll know it deep down if he hasn't. He certainly knows his way to the try line, but Tito Harris again, he is a key fixture in all their success on attack this afternoon. Seems very effortless, isn't it? The way he glides around the field, he kicks it well, takes the contact, seems to get to ground. And then when the opportunity comes, he just floats a lovely plus, just lays it right in front of Sami. Well, that's what I like about him. He's reading the defensive body language. You know, from an attacking point of view, the defense will give you the cues. And he's picking all the right options at the moment. Can they make it seven? Well, they started the half with a try, Ratu Novorisi. And they finished the half with a try, Star Sami. And Cole Benson. A good strike from out wide. But no goal. So a second try unconverted by Cole Benson. And that's half time here and at King's College. And it's 15 to 8. The away. visitors who lead two tries to one back with the second half not far away. 15 8. Two tries to one at King's College in Auckland. It's Kelston boys who sit third in the 1A who lead by seven. Let's have a listen in to the Kelston boys high school half-time huddle. Every time. Boys, I, I agree with that. So whenever we got the ball, especially on their end, we're covering them up. We're, we're getting open. We're, we're breaking through. So second half, let's just be patient. So if the guys are going over the ruck like that and they're standing like this, you can, can, you can get them and pull them down. And that way there, the ref can actually see that. The other thing is that we, if, the other thing there, we still should counter ruck as well the odd time. Because they're, they're just putting two over there. They're not that strong and we can counter ruck on that. Well, the message is pretty clear in the first half. What a start for Kelsey. What a start to the game. And it was all set up by this man, number 15, Xavier Tito Harris. Yeah, a little hot skip and a jump. He got on the outside and he freed up Naborosi. And it was all too easy from deep on this occasion. Absolute dream start. Well, this is a pretty good response. Halfway through the half, Sheffield Gray, Scott Sheffield Gray, just peeled away and foot strength from the young man. Absolute heads up play. He felt it. He read the situation extremely well and scored. And then the men in the Calston low numbers did the business up front. And then Tito Harris frees up the other winger, Sammy, for a five pointer. Yeah, Ratu Namborisi and Star Sami, they were terrific in that first half. As we look at the stats, well, King's College dominated a lot of the position and a lot of the territory, but Kelston just evened it up as the game went on. Certainly had, they've come back. It was up to 80% at one stage territory. Uh, so they've evened things up and they've made every bit of winner. Look at that time in 22. Every time they've gone down there, Kelston, they've come away with points. They will want to shore up the turnovers though. Highly entertaining first half. Good crowd have gathered here at King's. Of course, the King's students, they boys in the borders, rolled across. Let's have a look at some, some of the work that Sam Afu's done in the first half. He's the front row of the Kings. He's been a powerhouse for them, James. Absolutely huge. He gets past defenders, great feet, but it's also a strength in the contact area, which has allowed him to get across the game line. If only they could take advantage of it a little bit more often because he's providing the impetus. He just needs to be having it finished out wide. And I think the key point too is that his opposites have done similar work in the Joel Lavale and Nathan Cassidy Natano for Kelston. They've been giving the opportunities, their backs have finished it. And perhaps if Sam Afu can continue, he will create more chances out wide for the Kings back. He certainly will. And I look forward to hearing the names Fuller, Willis, Warren a little bit more often for Kings in the second half off the back of his hard work. Seven point advantage at the halftime break. 15 7, as I say. Naborisi, the right winger for Kelson, and Star Sami, 
the left winger for Kelson the tries and Scott Sheffield Gray he hit back with one of his own in that first half for Kings 15-8 Kelston sitting third in the 1A competition at the five wins and one loss while Kings are sitting sixth now with two draws and that one loss to go with their three wins so it's a big afternoon for Kings they could really make a climb up that ladder if they can get the win here but Kelston of course the defending champions of the 1A competition from 2021 they have come to Kings and they are they're up for it big time second half Captain. about to get underway sunny afternoon in Captain. Auckland test match to come tonight from Eden Park but for now first 15 rugby second half Kings Kelston restart by Benson taken down by Kings midway 22 10 meter line out to the right hand side spinning is Oliver trying to get to ground does get to ground Callum Murray is the half back but there's good good work from the Kelston forwards and they've just walked straight over the top of it although they've now been penalized well, the skipper said, if you boys aren't going to do it, I'll come in and do it. And that man in the 12 jersey, Manu Lerua, gets a good turnover, and they needed it. You heard Coach Canelli barking orders around the breakdown at half time, And they need to take a leaf out of his book because he is coaching exactly what's right. Just see here, caught a little bit upright. Allowed them to get that turnover just there. But that is a hell of a kick. Now Francis Manu Lelewa, he has let rip, he's a familiar face, Evan Putt, of course, part of the Kings coaching team. Ball line out one, Pearson, Caleb Pearson wins it, comes out for Sam Afu, we just featured him before, gets rid of one, gets rid of another one, there's Big Sam. Terrific strength from the young prop forward. Murray wants to get the ball. He's not going to get it out of there. The advantage is being played. Flat ball to Kavuredi. Here is Francis Manu. The little, little kick through and coming across. And good defensive work is Benson. And we'll go back for the penalty, though. Kings. Yeah, they had the right idea there, but the angle wasn't right for that kick through. The defender from Kelson caught on the wrong side. Good opportunity for Kings to take points early, and that's exactly what they're doing. Pretty much dead out in front for Francis Manu oh, Lelewa, who kicked very well in that first half, and this is a bit of a gift. Well, he's piggybacked them up himself, gets the turnover. There's a hell of a penalty kick that goes right into the 22. Now looks to get a th three points for his team. to close that gap to four at the start of the second half Kings Julie does it as the captain Francis Manu Lelua claws from the home team the gap is four points good start to the second half for Kings it is but an area they've struggled is getting out of their half after points so it's key they utilize this breeze it's a slight breeze but it's a breeze nonetheless and they need to play down the other end Cole Benson, halfback for Kelston boys, doing most of the kicking, kicks the goals, does the restart. That one's stake on the restart straight away. Kelston swings on to attack, cleared by Benson. Jarrell Nuafaleolo carries it over the 22. Talked about the exit. Was a goal on, connected, and away goes the front forward, Joel Lovane. Come on. He scored the try. The referee, though, is not convinced that all was well. It'll just be a look to see if his feet were behind the ball. It's key when they pick through the middle. That two feet are behind the ball. So a try. Sounds like the refs are happy. Try confirmed. Joel. Lovale couldn't believe his luck. He just looked up and there was nobody in front of him. And he tried the 20 metres to score the try. And that extends Kelson's advantage. As we look again, James, tell us what we're looking for. Oh, that's perfect. You can see it right there. His feet are behind the ball. It's a heads up play. King spread into their defensive line far too early. And he looks up. No one's in front of him. He must have sensed Afu getting the highlights package at half time and said, I want a bit of full time action. Let's go, please, nine. 
<laughs> Terrific stuff, Sam Afu. We saw him carry at the start of the second half too for the, the Kings prop. And Joel Lavalle, who had done just as much good work in that first half. The Red Sea just parted for him and away he went. And to a point, we got to the trial and I think he took a look behind just to make sure everybody else was still keeping up. Not sure how long that trial will be by the end of the uh, half or the end of the night, James. Maybe it's 20 at the moment. It might be 30, 40 by the time we get home. 50, 60 is a front rower. Conversion attempt from Benson. It's a good strike. Flags are raised. Kelston's third try. Converted by Cole Benson. Scored by that young man, Joel Lovale. And it's now an 11-point advantage to the visitors. Well, you can see why they're co-captains, because both Tito Harris and La Valle are leading with actions here this afternoon. Work for the men in the maroon to do. Kings, five minutes have elapsed in the second half. Plenty going on in this one, in the sunshine. Auckland this afternoon, 1A. Nice collection there. And well to Josh Pashina in Jersey 4 for Kelston under real pressure from Scott Sheffield Gray. Henson's going to clear. That ball has not found touch. It's gone over the top of Luca Fuller's head, so he's gone back for it. And Captain Manu Lelua, rare mistake from the skipper. Certainly is in the Kelston fans are uh, letting him know about it just thinking about his next job before he catches the ball and see his eyes just off it but he will move on a man of his class he won't be worried too much about that he'll be back into defensive mindset I get a feeling James a bit of a momentum shift in this game I know Kings just reduced that gap and it was a slightly opportunist try but just get the feeling Kelson might have gone up another gear here and this is why they're, they're, they're a strong team it's why they've been piling the points on opposition this season yeah and that's why they're defending champs because they are just ruthless in their approach and you just see Tito Harris down the left of your screen there with a massive blind to work with hold on to your seats Jamal Tuaimalo Vainga gets through here he is Tito Harris takes it in to him, the contact himself over the 22 meter line. Benson digs in, trying to clear the ball. Kings desperate on defense. Sits again for Benson. Comes back to the try score. La Valle. Five meters inside the 22. Benson goes left and comes back to the right. That's Regan Brown. First five for Kelston. Left this time. Faonga. Midfield is Xavier Liotta, and there's some advantage too for Kelston. Ball's taken forward by Sam Tuitupo. Left again, lovely pass. Tito Harris, Tito Harris still going. Three metres from the line. Oh, it gets a beautiful top pass too. Into his opposite Brown. Here's Benson trying to muscle his way over. Kings player over the ball, no advantage play. Back for the penalty. Well, we'll see their mindset now. This is an easy kickable penalty. Okay. Now, no, no, no. I've got a trend here that every time we're down in your red zone, we're giving away an offside penalty. That trend needs to change or someone's going to end up in the bin. Okay? Well, that was pretty clear. He's seen enough <laughs> offside penalties. 13 offside. Number 13. Dylan Vaongo. Taken by Benson. They want some more points here. Kelson. The altar. Going for the juggernaut here. Here is the hooker. Head down. Gets through one. Messina over the ball. And takes it. Willis is in there to make the tackle. The right winger decided to mix it up. Here's Joel Lovale. It's driven back in the tackle. Arm is out again. Another penalty for Kelson if they want it. Flat pass and through the hole is Issa. And they're in again. Terrific stuff from Kelston. Relentless pressure. And the Kings defence couldn't hold. 
Oh, without discipline, nothing is possible. With it, nothing is impossible. And that man on screen is certainly on fire in the second half. Great line, sucked in the defence, and it's all too easy here for Kelston. They're running away with this one. Too easy. Terrific line from Saliti Isau, and isn't he happy about it too? They just built the phases. They turned down the chance. It was an easy three points if they wanted it. But their co-captains, Lovali and Tito Harris, said, no, 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 we're going for the juggernaut, and rightly so. Well, they felt that momentum shift you were speaking of. They could sense it. And that man that scored that try, Isal has been huge defensively. He's used those shoulders to good use. And on this occasion, he used his speed and his sense to get into the gap. Won that race and then won the race to the try line. That is the one of the water boys for the Kelston team wearing jersey 11. We saw the, the teams warming up. Well, they saw the Kelston team warming up before the game, all with number 11 on their back. And that is a nod, of course, to the late great Vainga Tuigamala, who died earlier this year in the first 15. Just paying tribute to him by wearing that jersey 11 as their training kit, and in this case, on the field. Benson darts it left, and it stays left. So no conversion. Try scored by the Leti Isel. Unconverted, 27-11, as we look at it again. Well, it's also the deception out the back there of Tito Harris. We've spoken relentlessly about his threat with ball in hand, so the defence was probably interested in him, and they left a massive gap. And aren't they happy about it? And so they should be. Two tries at the start of this second half. Ten and a half minutes gone, and Kings all of a sudden look up at the scoreboard, and it looks a little bit ugly from their perspective. Not so for the men in red ducking under the high shot was Pasina, and the double blast is never a good sign. Just flew forward, did Scott Sheffield Gray. He's been very committed as the number Thanks, six. But we'll six wait to listen in here. Six, please. Just yeah, the so slight direct contact deception. Ahead. But he is he is falling. So medication from red to yellow. Okay. Yeah. No arguments there from King. So probably relieved that it wasn't a straight red. So Scott Sheffield Gray will spend the next ten in the bin. So there's a bit more adversity for Kings to face up to, and it's a free ticket out of their own red zone for Kelston boys. The Kings just need to regather themselves. There's still plenty of time in this fixture. But their discipline is certainly off, and they're just allowing Kelston easy access at the field. But on this occasion, to be fair, they haven't peeled off too many metres. The defensive position for Kelsen, but they've shown they want to run it from here all day. Xavier Liotta finds his jumper, Sam Tuutupo. That's son of Sam, the other Sam Tuutupo. This Blues and All Blacks midfielder. His son now in the Kelsen first 15, shares his name. Left-hand side playing with real flair and pace now. Good carry this from Shea Fa'olonga. Jersey 12 for Kelsen. It's pushed back on that 10 metre line as it comes back again. Another flat ball to Pasina. Doing a real willingness to carry. This one, though, lost their feet. Making quickly by Murray. Wants to speed things up. Kicks the ball, too. Chases on here for coming across and trying. To, oh, he managed to get it. Not sure if he did. By Onga. Goal line dropped out. James passes is on his feet in the commentary box. I thought he had it. That was a hell of a reach out just at the end there by Sami. Oh, yeah, he, he just gets it. Come on. We saw a quick Jeez. tap against <laughs> Auckland Grammar that changed the momentum for Kings a few weeks ago. On that occasion, it was Elliot. Murray has picked it up himself. It's just what Kings needed, something just to spark them, bring them back to life as he's an injury. That man you mentioned earlier, namesake Sam Tutupo. Too short. Looks like it's his neck. So hopefully he's all right. 
So we'll go blood then. Yeah. And you talked about the little spark that Kings sort of need. They've just gone into a little bit of a flat patch. Yeah, and Kelson have really ball, come man. up as we see that player receiving attention. Number four is but they almost got it there, James. And how do they recreate that? Because something as as simple as that, that there was nothing on there, and it almost ended at a five pointer for Dylan Bonga. Yeah, well, they've brought a couple of subs on Hamilton Muller, Forsyth, so they'll be looking for a spark of energy from them, and that is the key, especially with a man down still. Climb back on. Now the line dropout will come down midway 22 and 10 meter line. Fuller loses his footing. There's Luca Fuller. There's lots of red jerseys there to meet him too, and they're trying to hold him up. Not going to let him get down. Call from the referee, loud and clear. In the defensive work from Kelston, there's just no way that's going to end in anything other than a turnover. They were terrific. There was about five of them at the start. Yeah, well, look, Kings have had five entries into the 22. They've come away with points and threes and a, and a good try early. But defensively, there are not too many chinks in this Kelston armour. And they love the ability of getting a turnover, and they do it so often in that style, go, holding there's players up. Getting Matthew that more call. Jack is sixes in the bin, so I need one of the back on. Coach! Bye! Sit! It's it. It's the scrum, and then coming from distance is one of the try scorers, Sami, from the first half. Gets rid of one. Carries it up over the advantage line, goes the left winger star Sami, and a good bit of defensive right work from Kings. Holding off. Well, it eats up the clock for the yellow card and also puts them in good field position. They may want to go to their short line out with a man off. See here, it's actually a good original carry, gets through the first defender. And then again, just sealing off, and that's a great turnover. From the skipper once again. Hey, just sub anyway. Time's off. Man, I was just talking about that was Fine so influential on. in the sub Grammar complete. victory. Elliot coming on for Four King's College. In. Number 20. See there, Oliver Hatch. 16 as well. So the changes galore all over the place. That ball's been lost forward by Kings. You can hear there's a decent crowd here supporting the defending champions. And they are remaining on the field, at least very composed. They are on the job. Yeah, those fans you talk of, James, are right in front of the scrum. They are giving a lot of grief to the Kings team. They wouldn't be used to that. And a penalty at scrum time. Kelston. Benson wants to go quickly. Likes to pass out to his first five, Regan Brown. He's been pretty, pretty good controlling things for Kelston. When things get a little bit helter-skelter, he seems to be good at keeping it calm. This one's sitting up and getting away from Isa. Now there's a chance out wide. Speed here, the big number eight carrying forward. That's Tuaimalo Mahinga up over halfway. Back again, Benson. This is Nate Brown, open side flanker. Done a lot of good work in the first 50 minutes of this game. Oh, terrific footwork, Xavier Tito Harris. Eventually brought down by Gwyn Tuatahi. Now this space, Brown ranging out wide and drawing the pass. One of the tries for his summy. Nah, hit the ground first before his foot. Yeah, just a slight knock on there. Wasn't the best pass for Sami. And he couldn't gather it in. And he's not happy about it. And it just shows you the high standards throughout this squad. Time off. Let's go. Let's time off. Piggyback themselves. Injury and blood. Down the field. Yeah, yeah, but you've also got an injury, so take time to get so that. Kings have got a bit of work to do to get their way out of it. And can we get some blood for... Is that man Eight. in Jersey 22 comes on for Kelston. Kala Ama Samanu. Oh, 
Let's have a look at the work of Star Sami. <laughs> he has been a real handful. Well, it's a fitting name because he's certainly a star and one to watch. His ability to beat the defender, it's also classy moves like that to free up other players. Great ball there from a skipper, and he knows his way to that try line. He enjoyed that. One of the try scorers, one of the four try scorers for Kelston boys this afternoon. 27 11, midway through the second half of this 1A fixture in the Auckland competition. Kelston boys. They are the defending no, champions of 1A. They won it in 2021. Well, blood bit him, so he's got 10 minutes to stop it, and then he can come back on. Just a bit of a delay, yeah. I think. Hey, you need to be blood bin. Yeah. Referee no, you need just to go. giving you the instructions. Quite hard to know what has to be done, the protocols that have to be followed. Well, he's firm in his direction as the ref, yeah. and that's You've probably the way you need it. As Kings make a sub, that blood bin. I think it might be number 19, pretty full side. Definitely onto their bench of Kings. They're looking for a spark here. 19 minutes to try and turn around this 16 point deficit. Jack Elliott's going to feed the scrum for the first time. Clears it into midfield to his captain, Manu Leleua. This one's drifting over the 10 metre line and it's being returned with interest by Xavier Tito Harris, who's been absolutely superb this afternoon. The fullback, Benson collects. Crawls a metre from distance is Tuemalo Bainga. Benson clears again to Brown. Flat pass to one of the try scorers. Joel Lavalle, and he drifts one off to Louis Farlo. Inside, outside, and in the end, he steps off the right. Inside the 22, come Kelson again with Brown. Here's the hooker, Xavier Liotta. Referee's arm is out again. Benson, beautiful pass on the inside. Terrific work, Liotta. Oh, this is terrific from Kelson. Offloading and all the trickery. Board pass in there. Shea Baonga was involved. Number seven. Never back on side. You had a warning down there last time. So it's a double yellow. So they will really need to tighten things up, Will Kings. Kelston will not go away. So Palmer is the player who has gone to the sin bin as we watch the replay here. We're looking for it's been taken quickly by Kelston, they are going in for the kill here, big time, Benson. Lovale, the co-captain, three metres from the goal line. Benson digs in again. Liotta. And off their feet, so they just lost a little bit of composure at that point, did Kelston. The enthusiasm getting the better of them and a very welcome penalty for King's College. It's welcome, but... Uh, certainly not out of the woods just yet. Uh, down to 13 at the moment. And they've just missed touch. And Francis Manu Leleua trying to rake off as much distance as possible. Ball thrown back in there. That's Kalama Simanu. Here is Tito Harris. Lovely flat pass to Naborisi. On the outside, still going. So strong on. Their feet, both the wingers for Kelson, both Sami and Naborisi. Tuitupo, led by Benson again. Do Harris floats it up. There's some real space here, getting rid of one. This is work. wonderful start from Kalami. Simanu, oh, he can't get his hands free. In the end, the Kings have got back. The ball's been lost forward. Aubrey Kalama Simanu. He's got some happy feet. He knows his way to get around a defender. As the replacement, Kalama Simanu. First one's got 45 Unfortunately, seconds. Unfortunately, just a slight knock on towards the end. Kings are just hanging on. 13 men on the field. No. 
So we have another look at it. Look at that. Gets on the outside. Good fin. And goes back on the inside. He wants to get the ball away there. Just can't find his man. And then the knock on. But what a replacement. The impact of the bench is so crucial. Come back on, fellas. At any level. And the composure they showed in the first half under huge territory and possession pressure. Well, Kelston have turned things around here in the se second Man, half. They're like even in territory yeah. and they've taken over yeah. with 62% of the possession throughout yeah, this 54 minutes. You talk about the impact of the replacements and if you're going to pull someone off your starting 15, you need to get as much out of the player coming on and that's exactly what Matt Howling and the Kelston coaching staff have got. They've picked the seven reserves and all of them so far have made an impact. 16-point ball game with just under 16 minutes left on the clock, cleared by Elliott. Manu Leleu is trying to create something different, but it's been collected there by Noborisi. He's sell one of the try scorers in. He's Tito Harris flying up for the corner. And in he goes. Spectacular dive, Xavier. Tito Harris, the co-captain. He set a few up. He deserved one. And Kelston are running away with it. Oh, go on, you good thing, go. He set up plenty, and on this occasion, he said, I'll have some myself. What an afternoon this man's had. Credit to Kings, though, trying something that was probably not expected, down to 13, and then turnover ball. They've done it all season, turning defence into attack. And then their skipper with the outside fin, the Matt Duffy swan dive. Look out, he may be signed in league. <laughs> Terrific stuff. The theatrics, but what about the hands here? Stelletti Isso, he's already scored one try himself. And then the power, and then knowing where he was, Xavier Tito Harris, you've got to admire it. He's been superb all afternoon from fullback. And then a little one on one scenario, and that dive. A dive that Matt Duffy would have been proud of. He certainly would. Not a lot of room to work with when he got on the outside. Benson will be kicking from far out on that left-hand touch. 32-11. Kelston, who have scored plenty of points in the season so far. Big wins. Hungaroa, 44-0. 99-0 over Liston. And here at Kings, which is not an easy place to come and play. They've got 32 already. Nice looking strike again from Benson. Uh, just pushed it out in front of the post, so no conversion. But Kelston heading towards their sixth win of the 2022 season. This will be a great angle. I've just shown the work there of Isal first and foremost, but watch how tight he is to the sideline. Tito Harris. Uh, it doesn't matter what school yep. you're supporting. If you can't enjoy that, there's something wrong with you. Yep. Xavier Tito Harris, superb. <laughs> On. And a big Time smile on the face of the Kelston supporters. Who have come out in good numbers, made lots of noise, kept the home fans pretty quiet. 32 11. Francis Manu Leleua with the restart. This is going to come down to Tui Tupo. Good strength, good feet from Sam Tui Tupo. Year 12 at the college. Older brother, Essendon, played in the first 15. And on to play for New Zealand under 20s to Essendon to Itupo. So Sam's got some good pedigree in terms of his brother. Here's a chance for Kings coming from deep. Running right across the length of the field. Powering towards the line. Jonty Willis. Elliott goes to clear it. In the end, it has to be done by his captain. A bit of a dangerous tackle, that one. Come on. And the referee is straight away wants to have a word. The player has stayed down yeah. for Kings. Well, he was falling. It's yeah. similar to Sheffield Gray. Yeah. So the consistent message would Please be a yellow me card. Definitely not malicious, but he certainly got it wrong. Okay. okay. You've come in. You've used no arms. See no. the tackle. He's just no falling. Oh. Okay. There. And it's made direct contact to the head. Got no option. Three. Well, so that's a disappointing way for the afternoon to end for Joel Lalvali, who straight away has gone over to see his front row opposite. So he will spend the rest of the game 
off the field will the co-captain of Kelson sent off Joel Lavalli I think the reason it's read there is the lack of the wrap there's no arms it's direct shoulder to the head as I said he certainly didn't line him up to hit him there as he was falling he just got his timing horribly wrong so with 12 minutes remaining and Kelston to finish the game with 40 men. Can Kings at least put a little bit of doubt in their mind in this last 10 or so minutes and try and put a few phases together? They're in good field position here. That clock is now against them. Line out one by Caleb Pearson. Good defence from Kelston, as we've seen all afternoon. Comes to Cavuretti. Here is the captain, Francis Manunaloi. Pop the pass across. Space out here for Warren. He's driven back whoa, 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 whoa. towards the touchdown. Now they're over the ball. Just not enough players there for Kings, but they've lost the ball forward, Kelston. So it's a little opportunity missed for them. Almost created something there, though, Kings. They certainly did. It just needed to hit Fuller on the chest. The ball was right. Manu Lelalua, but it just didn't have the direction. You have to admire the physicality in the defence yep. of Kelston. Yep. Numbers 1 to 15, they are not messing about. And, and it's their second off? efforts. Seven. It's the second action. They make the tackle, they get to the feet, they counter up. They had six on six. Getting get turnovers. It's just relentless, both sides of the ball. I know St. Peter's are really leading the way this season, but Kelsen is certainly not shying away from the spotlight just yet. Now they won the title last year. They've got another impressive squad this year. And as I mentioned a little earlier, 22 of their squad are year 12 or younger. So they are they really are a force to be reckoned with at the moment. And yet, there's still some development to go at the, this level of the game for them. They're well coached, they're well drilled, and they're well led. That man on screen, one of the co captains. Coach! It's a great recipe for success. Five. Got a bit of X Factor too with Six. Sami and Nabrisi out wide on the wings, cleared by Elliot. Here is the captain. Manu Lelua, and this one sits up, and it sits up for one of those players. He's away, but the referee's going to call them back. Well, it was good night, Nurse. Had that been play on. I'm, I'm all yeah. good. Great defensive pressure again. The pass just not where it needed to be. And once again, their whole mindset is attack, attack, attack. Whether they've got the ball in their and hand. Yellow, is yellow back? Kings bring on a number of substitutions. Yellow's back as well. For Waikie Morrison, they're on screen. Let's go, fellas. Uh, Lance, you have to drop to seven because they've got a red card now. Simbin, we're yeah. to go back on. Let's go. But Scott Sheffield, Gray and Jersey Six is back on the field. So his time in the bin is over. I think they have now been restored to the full complement. Kings. Coach! Fine! Sit! Mikey Morrison Keep it up. comes cleared by Elliot. Here is Manu Lelua. Lovely hold! And there's an opportunity created and taken by Luca Fuller. Scores the try. And there is life in Kings 18. yet. Luca Fuller the try. Sweet. Absolutely outstanding. 18. They say if something stands between None you and your yet. goal, Don't need it. move it. And they've certainly just done that, F Kings. Great ball, two hands, that double pump fake from Kavariri really set it up. And Fuller, who has a big day whenever he's injected himself into this game, gets himself a well-deserved five-pointer and a little love tap to finish. Just a love thing, mate. He's just slowly making his way back to halfway is Luca Fuller. And if that name sounds familiar to it, Luca Fuller, Mum Deb, involved with the Silver Ferns, of course, as their assistant coach. So
Francis Onulelehua. Attempt to convert the try scored by Luca Fuller. Pushes it to the right and swings it back between the sticks. So, terrific kick from the King's College captain. And with seven minutes left on the clock, He's it's back a two-try ball game. 32-18. He is. Thanks to that young man, Luca Fuller. Got to believe, don't you, James? Got to believe you can find another couple of tries. One more in the next few minutes. Just send it into a bit of a helter-skelter last. A couple of minutes will give them a chance. Oh, terrific work. Flying through the Kelston boys. Peter Yuneki with the headgear and swinging onto attack come the visitors. And there's a penalty. Uh, he won the ball fair and square before that. I think that's Francis Manu Lelua again. That's his third breakdown turnover this afternoon. There's not much he hasn't done. And from memory, only one error. The skipper, but he has been huge on attack and defense as they've gone quickly. As we say, the clock against them is Kings looking to run it out from their own 22. Elliot back to Ruriri. Sam Apu carries strongly and penalty won by Kelston. They have been absolutely no, superb no. defensively today. Yes, they've scored ball. 32 points, but James Parsons, perhaps that sums up the afternoon the best way possible for Kelston. Absolutely. They've only had no, a no couple of yet. chinks like the line defensively, and that is no Let's mean go, feat, fellas. standing up and tackling Afu at full pace. But they did it, and then they had that Come second on. effort. I mentioned it earlier, but... They are just all business. They never switch off to this Kelston team. I still got five. Four, four. Three now. Three. Three. Yeah, I'm sure Coach! Oh, there's Five. the Kelston backs looking for one more Six. chance. Been a Stable, wonderful fellas. performance from them. They will cement their place in the top four in the 1A. As Kitito Harris just held and then flying around the corner was Luau in Jersey 21. Cleared again by Brown. Looking for a little bit of icing for this cake. Uh, Kelston. Hanu Lele Lua. Cleared, but didn't quite get that one right. So a penalty to Kelston. Yeah, well, I wax lyrical as they qu wait, play quickly. Jamal, Tuai Malo Vainga and A. He's had a big game. The number eight for Kelston. This one comes back to Kineki and he's dropped it. So advantage being played. Kings. Here it comes. Lovely little shovel. And there's some space on the outside for Willis. How much speed has he got? Johnny Willis goes into the contact. Can he retain possession? Clear it quickly for Elliot. Yes. Afu from distance throws himself at the defensive line for the umpteenth time today. Did to Sam Afu? Willis goes again on the right hand side. Elliot digs in. They've got advantage here, Kings. Afu on his feet, still going, Big Sam. Penalty for Over Kings, here. Here. taken quickly by Elliot, he wasn't on the mark. Over here. Is really the against them, so they're trying to play that up-tempo. They are down a man, Kelston, so best opportunity here is probably to go to the line. Their maul has worked well for them. And at least it tightens the defence of Kelston, although it is rock solid. It gives you that space on the edge, and Manu Lele Ua, the skipper, has that ability of that wide cutout ball. Kings. First things first, though. <laughs> the all important line out. Oliver Hatch has got his hands on the ball. To the middle they go. Pearson wins it for Kings. Sacks good. Comes down, they drive it forward. Tackle now, it's not a more tackle. Got to let go. Another penalty. Well, it's taken quickly by Elliot, but he's banged it into one of his opponents. And 
frustration for Kings. And that is full time, full just time. like that. Kelston Boys High School have come and they have conquered a terrific performance. Five tries to three. Kelston win it, 32 to 18. Welcome back to King's College in Auckland. Terrific game of first 15 rugby this afternoon has been won by Kelston boys. 32 points to 18. Five tries to two. What a game. Let's go and get some reaction. James Passes is down on King's College's home ground. Well, Xavier, what were the keys to that victory? Uh, I feel like we executed in our backs. Um, I feel like we had good D on the edges as well, and our forwards did their, um, the forwards did their job in the set piece. Is there an area you target because you've got a lot of pay out of those wide rucks and those counter rucking and getting turnovers there? Um, yeah, I feel like we just all back ourselves um, on D. We all trust our insides, we all trust our outsides as well. You look composed on the field, but what's the plan moving forward in the season? Obviously, you put yourself in a good spot now. Um, nah, we just carry on the momentum we've, um, we've got. Um, I think it's got to work on all the little things so our games can be completed well. Yeah. Well, all the, all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Francis, well, tough afternoon out there. Uh, yeah, uh, Castle really brought it to us. Uh, like I said, um, before um, they got to bring their, uh, their big um, contact and um, with their forward pack, and they really brought it to us. Obviously, you're targeting this game to put yourself ahead, but it doesn't take you out of the race for the four, does it? Yeah, uh, now um, um, our hopes um, goes into um, other teams' hands. Uh, we've got to um, wait on other um, results, so um, it's pretty um, bad on us, but uh, maybe we'll come away for the semis. Do you think discipline maybe cost you a little bit here today? Uh, uh, there's some calls that didn't go away, some calls that um, went Carson's way, but um, ref was pretty fair and um, just went both ways. Well, you had an awesome individual performance, so all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Yeah, he certainly did, Francis Manu Lele. Ooh, let's have a look at the match highlights. And, well, it was quite a game, and it started very early on with Xavier Tito Harris breaking the line, James Parsons. Oh, he set out how he wanted to finish, and he let his mate on his left. Nabarusi finished extremely well, and a hell of a start, and a picture of things to come. Well, Kings had to really work hard to get themselves back in the game. They did it through Sheffield Gray. Just a little bit of opportunity, but great string. Absolutely. He had a big game to Sheffield Gray, and he managed to get a five-pointer early. It was work around the ball that led to other things. But then again, Tito Harris just puts it on a platter for these wingers. Yeah, Sami and Nabarisi were loving life. Start of the second half. Somehow, he looked up to the big prop. Did did big Joel Lavale crashing over. That really put pressure on Kings and then Kelson were really the momentum was with them. Yeah, a cutting line from Isal. Great line out the back too from Tito Harris, which created the space and all too easy. Tried to do something different, Kings, and when they were playing against the grain a little bit. This ball got into the hands of that man again, Xavier Tito Harris. And how about this, James Bass? Oh, well, something, as I said in the live call, Matt Duffy would be proud of. Not much room to move. And then Kings fought their way back. They opened up a little bit of space through this absolute wall of a defensive Calston. And Fuller took a five-pointer and gave them a sniff. Gave them a sniff, but it wasn't enough in the end as we look at the wash-up. There are the five tries. Lavali and Tito Harris, the co-captain. Sami Isau and Nobarisi for Kelston boys. Sheffield Gray and Fuller for Kings. Well, not a lot of difference there in terms of the, the penalties. Let's have a look at the... The stats, James, not a lot in it, but you can see Kelson certainly got the better of it in the end. They certainly did. At the start of the game, that first 20, 25 minutes, they were 80% to Kings, and it really showed on the scoreboard, but that second half was all out, Kelston. Yeah, they just turned those stats around. They really built, and they're in the centre of the ground, uh, applauding and joining each other. Let's have a look at one of the standout players. We talked about him so much during the call, James Barnes, and Xavier Tito Harris, what a player he is. He certainly is, but it's it's the work he does off the ball to put himself in the space to make a difference. And then, probably more so with Esau's try, 
his ability to suck defense to create space for others. So he has a massive future and his work ethic and his work rate is just outstanding for such a young man. And also, when he, the opportunity came to show a bit of flair, show a bit of the, the dramatics, he was up to that too. Yeah, I definitely think he's good for a try celebration and he's got plenty in his future, don't you worry about that. Yeah, big future, Xavier Tito Harris. Kelston boys, 32-18, if you're just joining us. It's a big win for Kelston. In terms of the 1A competition, though, James, this is a big statement that Kelston made because everybody's chasing some beaters, but Kelston, Kelston boys have said, we're coming for you. I certainly think so. You know, all the talks that Peters have, you know, carved up most teams that they've, they've won against Kelston, but I feel like they're just finding some momentum and getting themselves back into this competition. And what a game we have witnessed here this afternoon. There is plenty more Land Rover First 15 rugby to come. Next weekend, we're at Sacred Heart, Mount Albert Grammar. That should be an absolute cracker. 2.30 uh, in Glendowie from uh, in Auckland Sky Sport 3. And then we see in August, we'll have Kings back on Sky when they travel to Sacred Heart. That one on the 13th of August at 2.30 p.m. That's live on Sky Sport. Do not forget, an absolute mouth-watering encounter is coming your way from Eden Park in Auckland from 6.30. The All Blacks are taking on the Irish. The Paddies are in town. It should be a huge one. The first of three test matches coming to you later tonight. But from everybody here at Otahu in South Auckland, Kelston boys have won it 32-18. We'll see you next time on Land Rover First 15 Rugby.